All right, uh, same day, which is uh, 1-13-22, uh, okay? But these dates mean nothing. Wasn't it Chris Farley who was um, in that movie Zero One or something? I'm, you know. I'm going to say no. And that CC is... Strike one. That disappeared and died. Okay, um... These dates mean nothing. These years mean nothing. These decades mean nothing. Not this talking, depressing, philosophical... They really don't. Doesn't matter if we get them wrong or right. But who cares? Of course it doesn't. Who cares about accuracy, right? I mean, what are numbers even for? The point is... I'm making videos for you guys. So you can enjoy it. So get some popcorn. Sit down and relax. Who is this guy, you might ask? He's CC from New York, Westchester County. A flat earther and a very entertaining character. This is not my first video on him, so if you want to see the others, I'll post a link in the description. And now, without any further ado... Friends, family, and characters random, to bring you joy and laughter in tandem, to divert and dazzle is our intention, so sit back, relax, and enjoy our invention. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. As you might have guessed, today's video is about CC String Theory. Curious? Me too. But you'll have to wait until the second half of the video, because before that, he'll be talking about the huge tree stump in the US, also known as Devil's Tower. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Let's get started. All right, so um, anyway, I know you guys don't really watch the big channels, um, but I have to because they do give out truth. You can't handle the truth! Okay, and this is going to go back to what I was saying in my last video, and I'll embellish on that, but um, I'm going to give him credit on this one because I, I thought of it too. You know why? I, you know, Devil's Tower, I thought... I mean, we all know it's a tree trunk. Wait, what? I'm in the flat earth community, of course. I'm, you know, it's obvious. Of course. It's so simple. Of course. Because if the flat earth community didn't believe in more than one conspiracy, what would they do with the extra time? You know, the extra time they have between saying the earth is flat and the rest of the day. Um... However, I thought maybe that might have been an area for the last civilization that they might have tried to reach the dome. Told you it was aliens. So I did some calculations. <laughs> you serious? With the uh, diameter of of the um, of Devil's Tower, and how long? I mean, how big this tree would actually be? But it would only be about four point like five miles or something like that. It's not, not tall enough. The size of a tree is affected by quite a few variables. CC and semidis. What type of a tree was it? Where was its water source? A tree that big would need a lot of water. What was the soil pH at the time? How did you determine all of this? Now a few more questions that have nothing to do with the height, but still important. How old was it when it was cut? Who cut it? With what? Where are the tree rings? I'm waiting for your answer, sir. But that is a tree. No. It's not. But if you look at the other trees that are underneath it, they're just like bushes. Holy moly, what's that? It's all bushy. Do they all got a hedge like that? Do they? It was just so big and bushy, sir. Why does it look like that? 
So that's why <laughs> the forest that you're looking at right now is not a forest. Okay, anyway. Are you just going to leave it like this? So let's get back to what I was originally talking about, the um, string theory. <laughs> oh, wait, you're serious. Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. If we tied a piece of string from the sun to earth. This is not... <laughs> string theory! All right, sun travels at 186,000 miles per second, and these people are wearing face masks and f***ing gloves. I have a very short attention span. But our point is very simple. You see when... Oh, look, a bird! <laughs> and they've got a collar on their dog with a light on it. Remember, we saw that. We saw that in Back to the Future. <laughs> and now we're seeing it here in 2022. You remember that? You remember that movie? Come on. They had the collars on their freaking dogs with the lights. Anyway. Well, um, where to begin? There's a few things to unpack here. I let this whole segment play out so you can see how easily distracted he can get. He's like a child. Let's first start with something that has nothing to do with Flat Earth or String Theory or whatever he's trying to talk about. And they've got a collar on their dog with a light on it. Remember, we saw that. We saw that in Back to the Future. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't recall any collars with lights in the movie. In fact, what I do remember is a drone walking a dog. CC not only fails at science, he now also fails at movies. Now let's address the other claim. Alright, sun travels at 186,000 miles per second. Oh, you're gonna make me do math. Gosh darn it, Cece. Okay, let's start. CC claims that we claim that the sun travels, I assume around the center of the galaxy, at 186,000 miles per second. According to science, the sun travels around the center of the galaxy at an average speed of 448,000 miles per hour. So we take the 448,000 miles per hour and we divide it by 60. And that gives us approximately 7,766 miles per minute. Uh-oh. I dare say, right now, this is not looking good for you, CC. Let's end this right now. If we now divide 7,766 miles per minute by 60 seconds, then we get approximately 124 miles per second, very far away from CC's... All right, sun travels at 186,000 miles per second. But now we're left with the big question. Where did he get that number from? Where did he get 186,000 miles per second from? Let's see. The sun is at an average distance of about 93 million miles away from Earth. It is so far away that light from the sun, traveling at a speed of 186,000 miles per second, takes about 8 minutes to reach us. Wait, didn't CC just tell us that the sun travels at that speed? Alright, sun travels at 186,000 miles per second. Sun travels, sun travels... So there you have it. CC is confusing the speed of light with the speed of the sun around the galaxy. Yet another nail in the coffin of the Flat Earth research. So we tie a string from um, the sun to the Earth, which I know the Globers are going to say that's impossible, but that's 186,000 miles per second the light travels to Earth. That's uh, eight and a half minutes shall we say, give or take. Wait just a god darn second. Now you're saying that it's the light that travels at 186,000 miles per second. Well, you're right. 
But in this same video, a few seconds ago, you were saying... All right, sun travels at 186,000 miles per second. All I have to say to you, CC, is this. Next time you're thinking about making a video, write a few bits of it on a piece of paper so you... Get your shit together! So if I'm on the sun and you're on the earth and I tug, shouldn't it be immediate? Nope, you're wrong. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Because you should feel that tug immediately because it's a line, a string going from the sun to the earth. Oh boy, what have I got myself into? Let's see if I can explain this and why CC is wrong. But instead of a string, let's use a metal rod for our thought experiment. Imagine a metal rod with one astronomical unit in length. When you push the rod at one end, it will not move the other end immediately. Any time you push an object, any object, you're not pushing the whole object. You are pushing the end near you, which gets compressed, that then pushes part of the object next to it, doing this the whole way down to the end. Think of it like a wave. We don't notice this when we do it on our day to day, because it happens so fast, it seems like the whole object is moving at once. I apologize for the sciencey bits. Uh, just let me know what you think in the comments. And this is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on my next video.